पेज हंड्रेड एंड सेवन चैप्टर फाइव लेटर राइटिंग लेटर राइटिंग इज एन इम्पॉर्टेंट चैनल ऑफ कम्युनिकेशन बिटवीन पीपल हु आर जियोग्राफिकली डिस्टेंट फ्रॉम वन अनदर इन अर्लियर टाइम्स वेन द टेलीफोन एंड ई मेल वर नॉट अवेलेबल द ओनली मीन्स ऑफ कम्युनिकेशन बिटवीन पीपल वॉज थ्रू लेटर्स लेटर राइटिंग इज अ स्किल दैट हैज टू बी डेवलप्ड इन जनरल देर आर टू टाइप्स ऑफ लेटर्स फॉर्मल दैट आर रिटर्न टू कन्वे ऑफिशियल बिजनेस एंड इन्फॉर्मेशन एंड इनफॉर्मल विच आर पर्सनल लेटर्स टू कम्युनिकेट विद फ्रेंड्स एंड फैमिली फॉर्मल लेटर्स आर सेंट आउट वेन वी नीड टू राइट टू वेरियस पब्लिक बॉडीज और एजेंसीज फॉर आर रिक्वायरमेंट्स इन सिविक लाइफ फॉर एग्जाम्पल वी माइट हैव टू आस्क फॉर अ सर्टिफिकेट और टू इन्फॉर्म अ चेंज इन आर एड्रेस A letter is usually one in a series of exchanges between two people or parties. Formal letters. Let us now examine some of the steps in writing formal letters. One. First of one, introducing oneself if it is the first time you are writing. Second of one, referring to an earlier letter if you are responding to it. Two, stating the purpose of the letter. Three. First of three, stating action or information required from the addressee. Second of three, explaining action taken or supplying information. Four, first of four, urging action to be taken. Second of four, offering assistance in future. This is the basic structure of a letter. it will have to be modified according to the purpose for which it is written and the person to whom it is addressed page 108 when you write a letter you should keep in mind the following points 1 purpose 2 person to whom it is addressed 3 tone you should adopt 4 completeness of the message 5 action required 6 conciseness of expression we have so far considered the content of letters a letter also has a typical format one name and address of sender companies have printed letter heads with the name of the company printed on them a letter head may also carry the name and designation of persons in responsible positions two name and address of addressee three date four mode of address or salutation Salutation is the mode of addressing a person. We may have the following forms. First, dear sir or madam, when we are writing to a total stranger whom we do not know at all. Second, dear mister, miss, doctor, professor, plus surname as in dear Dr Sinha when it is a formal relationship with the addressee and the writer does not know him or her personally. Third, dear Sujata when the writer knows the addressee personally and the two share a semi formal relationship 5 reference to previous correspondence if any most official letters carry a subject line just above the salutation this is for quick reference to the subject 6 content of letter 6 content of letter the content of the letter begins on the next line and is arranged in two or three paragraphs 7 complimentary close and signature letters usually end politely with the following phrases thank you with regards with best wishes hope to see you soon hope to receive an early reply etc the complimentary close is followed by yours sincerely or yours truly and the writer's signature in the next line page 109 Given below is an example of the format of a formal letter name and address of the sender Ritu Patel manager customer services Vijayanagar gas company 121 Amirpet Hyderabad 500016 date 12 November 2005 name and address of the addressee Mr Shagun Thomas 801 Vijay Apartments Begumpet Hyderabad 500016 Subject Your application number F323 for a new gas connection Salutation Dear Mr Thomas
closing remarks with regards your sincerely ritu patel nowadays all the parts of a letter are aligned on the left this style is called the full block style one the date and signature are very important in letters two we do not use commas after every line in the address page 110 three do not begin your letters with hackneyed expressions like with reference to your letter dated 10 january instead use personalized variations like i was glad to receive your letter of 10 january or we were happy to note from your letter that the goods have reached you safely four never end your letters with hanging participles like thanking you or awaiting your reply instead write thank you or we or i await or look forward to your reply informal letters informal letters include personal letters if it is a personal letter the format is flexible we might just write the name of our city on top followed by the date name of the city hyderabad date 12 november 2005 salutation dear sujata closing remarks bye your affectionately or with love or all the best or take care etc signature the flexible format of the informal letter may also be used to seek information from concerned authorities given below is an example address of the authority address of the sender 179 ncert campus shri aurobindo marg new delhi 110016 date 9 september 2005 address of the addressee the manager himachal tourism mall road shimla salutation dear sir content we are planning to spend our vacation in dharmshala himachal pradesh during dashera and would like some information regarding availability of lodging in the area we would like to have information about inexpensive hotels in and around dharmshala could you please send me a city map and brochures about the activities and sites in the city thank you salutation yours faithfully suryadhan kumar given below is the format of the informal letter one your address but not your name usually goes in the top right hand corner but may go on the left too one your address but not your name usually goes in the top right hand corner but may go on the left two the name and or job title if you know them and the address of the person you are writing to goes on the left page 112 three to address someone whose name you do not know you can write dear sir dear madam dear sirs dear sir or madam four to address someone by name use their title and surname example dear dr balakrishnan five to end a letter use your sincerely if you have addressed the person by name yours faithfully if you have begun the letter with dear sir or madam etc job application at some point of time each one of us will have to apply for a job job applications are usually written in response to advertisements let us take this sample advertisement from a daily newspaper the hindu dated 15 november 2005 come join the adventure customer support executives graduate or diploma holders with or without experience possessing good customer service skills excellent spoken and written communication skills in english is a must send in your applications with your resume and passport size photograph to wonderland communications south street salem tamil nadu let us assume that you have a degree or a diploma and are applying for the job we need to prepare a resume which actually means a summary of particulars relating to your background academic qualifications and experience if any other terms used for resume are curriculum vitae and bio data page 113 the general format of a resume or curriculum vitae is shown below curriculum vitae 
name address telephone number email id date of birth academic qualifications experience begin from present employment skills languages known hobbies and interests achievements references that is names of people in positions like your school principal who can certify your character and conduct page 114 now we need to send a covering letter along with the curriculum vitae the following letter is an example your name and address date the manager human resource division wonderland communications south street salem tamil nadu dear sir i would like to apply for the post of customer support executive that you have advertised in the hindu of 15 november 2005 i have just completed my diploma in communication from the state polytechnic i was happy to note that you do not insist on experience if selected this would be my first job i am a sincere honest and hard working person i am friendly and outgoing and have good communication skills i am enclosing my resume and look forward to meeting you in person regards yours truly signature activities 1 you have not received your roll number card for the class 12th examination write a letter to the registrar examination branch cbsc asking for it page 115 Two. Write a letter to the president, Residents Welfare Association of your locality, suggesting some measures that could be taken for solving the problem of water scarcity and conserving water. Three. Write a letter to the editor of a newspaper, expressing your views on the deteriorating law and order situation in your city. Four. Write a letter to your friend, narrating your experiences in a rescue operation. Five. Write a letter to the editor of a magazine describing a dance performance you have seen or an art gallery you have visited.